Hello everyone, welcome back to another speed build with Fremlin, and I'm back again with the Vampires Game Pack stuff, and also Get Together Expansion Pack stuff, so if you don't have Get Together, I'm really sorry for you. Uh, I did kind of intend from the start to use it because I thought it would be quite cool, but then I thought maybe I should take it out, and I ran a poll on Twitter and I said, should I build with get to get the stuff or something like that people generally thought I should go with what I felt was right so for this build at least it's got get to get the stuff and I'm sorry if that's a problem for you and I'm really happy if that's not a problem for you I kind of thought that if someone likes the vampire stuff they probably like the darker stuff the darker more you know rustic stuff that came along with get together but maybe I'm wrong <laughs> we shall see so the main ideas I had in mind for this build were it's not a starter home <laughs> and it's going to be quite roomy but not massively so and I wanted it to look quite good so I didn't really have a major budget in mind and I went for about well I got to I didn't aim for <laughs> I got to about 91,000 simoleons and that was without trying to really take anything out, but I did place, you know, relatively medium cheapness stuff in the kitchen and bathroom, and, you know, I didn't go for the top range of anything. I went for high range, so <laughs> it, will, it will still look good, but it won't be massively expensive. That's the idea. Uh, so... It kind of constrains me, which is good for me, to motivate me and to get me focused. But, I can still have a bit of uh, room to move in terms of making the place look quite luxurious. And yeah, that was the intention, and it seemed to work out. And this part of the build, and roughly about... Ooh... A quarter of the build is spent before the vampire stuff had actually come out. So I was just prepping up the build, the basic shell, and doing some uh, placeholder furnishing just to get an idea of the feel of the of the layout and how it was going to eventually look uh, in Windenburg. So this is actually on top of the, the Narwhal Arms uh, lot in the centre of Windenburg. And so that's why I renamed the lot to NOT the Narwhal Arms. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't know if anyone even notices that kind of stuff. <laughs> but, so I think it's very tempting to always go with red for the lounge when you're making like a luxury lounge. And I did actually stay with red. Hmm. But I didn't go with like the, the main reds. I chose some alternative reds. Well, I think I did. You know, we shall see near the end. The kitchen is pretty basic. Basically, because I'm building with the vampire stuff, I kind of imagine that whoever's going to live here is probably going to include one vampire uh, and maybe their family or something like that. And so I didn't think that kitchens were going to be a major focus of this build. I, you know, maybe you feel that every build should have a big kitchen, but it's not a massively massive build. It's not a large build even. It's a relatively cozy, uh, but still quite decently sized. Uh, build and I didn't think having a massive kitchen was that much of a big, a big deal but now I'm thinking about it I'm thinking hey I want to build a place with a big kitchen again so I think I can see that I might head that way with my next build there's been a few suggestions and I know people have already had this idea for themselves to, to build more of a kind of a modern build with the vampire stuff, but with modern stuff as well, and that's appealing. And it might look like I've done it with this build at this stage, especially in the toddler's room. But I do actually tidy that up a bit later, and the place looks a bit more traditional. And there is a few modern bits here and there, but mostly it's rustic traditional. Um, this room actually stays pretty much like this, but I just changed the chairs, the bookcase, the grandfather clock. <laughs> The chest of drawers, okay, I've changed quite a lot, but we'll see that later on. Um, so, toddler and kids' rooms. I've got one kids' bed, one toddler bed. So, if you've got a small 
little family growing. You can uh, keep them comfortable in their sleep in this room. And I paid attention to try and get at least one toy for each uh, to cover the skill needs of toddlers. So there's one that I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but one of them is something like logic skill or something like that. Mental skill, I don't know. Has, you know, so there's there's not all the toys, but there's a couple of toys of different skill types. And there's a potty, and there's a bed, and there's a chair, and there's a dollhouse, and there's eventually going to be the bear curler toy. At the moment, there's just a play placeholder toy. Um, but bear curler will be coming in there. Downstairs, actually, it looks all right, even without the vampire stuff. Maybe I just shouldn't have added it in. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I think it looks great once it's got the vampire stuff in it. In fact, I really, actually, I really like it. And when I was taking the screenshot, I was like, oh, whoa. And you've got to forgive me at the end because in the lounge in particular, I take about five screenshots and I have them all in rapid succession at the end of this video. So hold on, hold on to see the screenshots. It'll be worth it. What you're seeing now is just, just a hint. And you don't see any garden. Uh, there's a decent section of this video where I'm making the garden. And I'm never fully happy with a garden, but I'm pretty happy with it. So, so we shall see. Yeah, coming up, I'll just check how close we are to the end of the non-vampire stuff. Okay, it's very close. So yeah, I'm sticking in like a placeholder piano where the pipe organ will go. I'm stuck in a placeholder bar where the vampire's bar will go. I've stuck in a placeholder fireplace where the vampire's fireplace will go. And I've also stuck a few uh, get-together items outside that I really wanted to feature. If I'm gonna have, uh, sorry, if I'm gonna have get-together stuff, I figured there's a few iconic pieces for the garden that I wanted to include. And uh, so that you can see them on the outside there. Suddenly we're in Forgotten Hollow and I'm starting to place uh, stuff from the pack. I think I might have missed a little bit of footage here, but it was just a tiny bit as I added just a few little... Oh no, I don't think I did. Yeah, there's a couple of dry roses I stuck in, and then suddenly there's a whole lot popping up here very quickly. As I fill it out, I add in a little pond. Experiment with how to uh, cover the edges. Now, if I was using Move Objects Cheats, covering those edges and making it look quite good would be quite easy but I'm not, so I have to do my best. And on the wall there, the wall IV, I think it looks great, but as I said in the last video, I really, really wish there was some smaller pieces of IV so I could have a bit more detail. Uh, in the end, it's kind of blocky, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just overly critical, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and uh, But I tried to do my best and tried to spread it out and make it look a bit more natural. Uh, not look so well manicured. Uh, also had a lot of time with the landscape paint in this build. I was really obsessive with it and I think you'll notice that. Uh, but in case you don't, I, I spend a lot of time in this video actually adjusting the landscape paint. I think most of what's here now is what came from uh, before the the vampire stuff was added. But wow, really filling this up fast. Look at that. And not just using dead and dying stuff and bleak and dreary. I'm also adding in a bit of green, but not not too much of a bright green, I'd say. I don't think there's anything that's particularly bright. I mean, I've got some a bit of pink flowers in there. That flower seems to feature in lots of my builds that were popular. So I quite like using that, that flower. It's like a little lucky charm. So if, if you see a good house, it's probably got that flower in it. And that's probably why. Because it has that flower. Had a lot of fun painting that wall, that wall ivy on the wall there. Even if it wasn't quite as even as I wanted. And tried to make some kind of gaps to make it look a bit more like it was a bit wild or something. But I don't know. Stuck some wall ivy at the back as well. I don't know if you see it here or a bit later, but that is a bit drier. So the stuff at the front at least has, a, has had a bit of water on it. 
So maybe a little bit of attention in the garden. And at the moment, one of the lot traits, I think it's called homey or something like that. Um, and basically one of the things that it improves is cooking, but there's also mixology, which goes with the fact that it's got a bar and also gardening and it's got a couple of gardening pots on the front porch so there's also another skill that improves that i can't remember but probably there's something in here for, <laughs> to help with that skill as well but we shall see anyway so painting around the pond as best as i can without move objects cheat taking out the placeholder dining table and the first time i get to use this rather large dining table from the game uh, Vampire's Game Pack. I think this is my new favourite wooden floor. You know, it's not basketball shine from City Living, but it's still got its own shine. <laughs> and it's got some light colours as well that I haven't really been able to use yet, but I'm, I'm going to be using them. And there's the, the pipe organ. Plonk. And I spent ages looking for the curtains that you're supposed to hang on the wall. I just couldn't find them, but in the end I did find them, I think it's because I wasn't looking for the right colour or something like that. I just, in my mind I was looking for red, but they were in as a different colour. So yeah, I changed the wallpaper as well after placing those curtains, changed the fireplace over to the new fireplace. I know that's very fast, I'm sorry about that, but actually I was quite focused on how I just picked things out and swapped them over, uh, so I, I couldn't have really slowed that down anymore. And you know, I want to keep the speed build running, <laughs> right? I, mean, I probably could have gone back and slowed it down, but I don't think you really care about me swapping a fireplace over. No, you're probably more interested in this garden stuff. I mean, I am. Garden stuff is so cool. Hmm, wish there was a darker shade of that grass, but it's fine. It's fine, Ash, it's fine. Just, I want to go back and change it, but no! See, I haven't actually uploaded it yet. This time I thought I would wait a bit and see if I could get the speed build out of the way first and then upload it, like I used to always do. Uh, I don't know if it really matters because I think the people that watch the speed builds aren't necessarily the same people that are actually downloading it. I think I have two audiences basically. The people that download it and the people that watch the speed builds and the numbers don't match. <laughs> and I just don't see always the same people, you know, that are downloading and commenting and also viewing the speed build and commenting so I was just thinking today hey I should just got to see they're just two different channels um, but yeah I think people can have success on both and one or the other and I, I'm kind of aiming for both <laughs> but uh, we shall see yeah because I, I want to please people in the gallery that's that was my main reason for sharing but I'm quite into the whole YouTube speed builds video experience now. And I am really enjoying some of the comments I get. I don't know if people realize how much I enjoy getting a comment, <laughs> but it's great. So please, please leave a comment. I love them. And I will try and reply to all of them. I think I've done it so far. If I have missed one, I sincerely apologize. I know I have felt bad when I've left what I thought was a reasonable comment on, you know, someone else's video and no response, not even a like, it's awful. So I'm going to try and do that. Uh, and I, it's pretty reasonable with, you know, a small select group that I have watching my speed builds. So please don't be shy and most people are really nice and friendly on YouTube comments. So don't feel unwelcomed. So yeah, I tried to stick a violin next to the pipe, or pipe organ, but it wouldn't fit. And since I don't use move object cheats, I just left it out. And I've stuck the guitar in there though, which looks good. I love that little corner. You know, an octagon room, it can be really difficult, but actually I quite like this little three-seater thing. Look at that! And they're all kind of facing each other. Imagine like three vampires sitting there talking to each other, or something like that. I don't know. Or a mother talking to her two kids reading a book or something like that. I don't know, just I love this corner now. I'm going to make more little <laughs> octagon corners like that because it's not fully octagon, you know, it's using some of the square of the room as well, uh, which was quite interesting. Anyway, 
So yeah, there's, there's the new bar in, over there, and I didn't, I have it facing against the wall again, which is the second time I've ever done that, I think. The, the first time being the previous build, or the one before that. I don't remember which one, I think it was Marylebone Manor, I'm, hope, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, uh, difficult one. This one should be a bit easier. At the moment, it's called Strathclyde Manor, and hopefully it's going to start out that, because otherwise this commentary is going to look a bit outdated. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to make uh, grander sounding names. And I don't want to go for the full creepy vampire thing, you know, say vampire cottage, vampire starter, as some people are doing, which I think is completely adequate, by the way. It's just... I don't want that for my place. I want, uh, well, I like writing and I like choosing the right words, so it's just kind of natural that I like naming my builds as well. But again, I can sometimes be never happy with them and I can often think of, you know, better names later. But oh well, I like this one for now, it works. So, vampire stuff in the bathroom. Got the bath in got the, the toilet in, got the sink in, I think that's a get together mirror, vampire's wallpaper, I don't know if that stays, I don't remember the top of my head, no it doesn't, it goes for the, I go for the wooden panelling instead, I think it's a lighter one, I think that's the first time I did wooden panelling in the bathroom, but I quite like it. So a little pause in the video there. Anyhow, moving on, adding some lights here and there. And this little hallway, I eventually decorate with a few portraits, as you shall see. Love these little tiling rugs. I think I'm going to use them everywhere. Only wish for them is that there were, <laughs> there were more swatches, more colour variants. You know, I want... <laughs> Well, you know, you know we want that kind of stuff, developers, and I think everyone agrees. But you know, what is there now is quite good. And even though there wasn't a pure black one, <coughs> what was there <laughs> worked. There we go, the, all the little portraits in the hallway. So even though it's a very small little hallway, you actually have to go through it quite a lot to go up and down the stairs, so I thought, why not make it look beautiful? And, yeah, little kids' room here. Tried to get some kids and toddler items in there. I think I tried to, tried to stick a bassinet in there. There isn't a bassinet in it at the moment, and it's probably good to upload without one. And the reason I say it's probably not is because, well, A, when you have a baby, you get a bassinet for free anyway. <laughs> but when when I was playtesting, I was looking at one of the objects I'd placed. I don't know if you see it in the video or not, but near the very end, hopefully it's in the video, I try to get down the Get Together's uh, darts board. And it's actually really quite difficult because it's the rooms aren't massive. <laughs> and there are doors. Doors get in the way. But I placed the darts board in the hallway upstairs of all places, which is a very confined space, but it's the, pretty much the only place I could find. And it seems that one sim can practice darts on it, but you can't have two sims playing darts. So I might leave it like that, to be honest. I might leave it like that. Aha! Now you see me changing the, the little cottagey side. I'm now making it big enough so that it can have a cupboard. And then making it big enough so it has a, has a cupboard and make it look good, you know, in my, in my reckoning of what looks good, also meant making a, a bigger room. I also just kind of thought, if I'm going to put in a little bit of space for the cupboard, I might as well put in a room. And did manage to get a little door off the hallway upstairs. So that, there is a, like a bedroom in there now, and you'll see me finish it in a sec. And there's also a second room there as well, so that last minute addition allowed me to add in two rooms. Although the second room, it, it has some very interesting furniture, as you, sh you shall see. 
So just adjusting the roofs, you know, roofs, as you probably know, can be quite tricky sometimes, but this was mostly straightforward up until I tried to make the room and the, the roof match up next to each other and the roof's texture came into the room, which was really bad, so I had to adjust it some more. But the upshot was that you get a much bigger upstairs area there. Also stick in a bit of decoration around the place. So because I was using Get Together, I could stick in some of that, you know, older fashioned stuff. And I could stick in the, the vampires' older fashioned stuff. I think it's all older fashioned stuff in the vampires. Checking out how it looks from the gallery. Do you know that Forgotten Hollow is quite a dark little world and I found it quite difficult to get good lighting on the on the build so maybe I should start saving my builds on another place but I think maybe it's best to keep them here because well they're vampires themed lots. Anyhow we shall see. So first time use of this new vampires wallpaper and also the matching lights tapestry is from the game pack as well there's some paintings on the wall from both the vampires game pack oh look coffin that sprung up quickly i think i was just distracted with talking or something like that but yeah there's the coffin hi you probably saw it before me and uh, then i also stuck some you know mucky stuff on the, the walls to make it look a bit more decrepit in there, like perhaps the room wasn't used very often anymore. Uh, so maybe you could move a family in there that aren't vampires yet, but if they want to expand their supernatural attributes they will have room to move, otherwise you could just uh, replace that with maybe a bassinet, make it a, a nursery or a second bedroom, I mean sorry a fourth bedroom. Yeah, there's three bedrooms in there actually. Um, you could also make it into a study, I guess, because I don't have a computer in there at the moment. I don't even have a TV in this build, <laughs> so maybe you'll want to add in a TV. Hey, why did I only start thinking about a TV now? I don't know. Like, vampires don't need TVs, they've got pipe organs. That's all you need, right? And they've got a bar. Hey, that's all you need. <laughs> Wish I had a bar at home. Lucky vampires. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just checking out the lighting outside, yeah. And just making sure it's relatively well lit without looking too garish. I think it's a bit bright outside at the moment, but I think I removed some of that lighting. Because I don't want to make it look too bright in Forgotten Hollow, if that is where you place it. I guess it will probably look also good in Windenburg. Hey, yeah. You could do like a whole Windenburg remodeling and change everything into vampire stuff. That'd be quite cool. Sometimes I like taking like a, a neighborhood in one of the Sims 4 worlds and just changing all the buildings to one kind of theme or something like that. Can be quite enjoyable. So yeah, I stuck wallpaper on the wall in my kitchen, but it gave it a bit of a classy look, don't you think? Uh, especially because it's such a small kitchen, it just kind of makes it look much better. It's a small kitchen, but it looks great. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I think I went with that... that vase of flowers in the end because it has a kind of Victorian look to it. Use one of the new paintings from Vampire's Game Pack above the fireplace. I think it just goes to red in the end if it isn't already. So yeah there's a lot of neutral colours, a lot of blacks and darks but then there's uh, the lounge has kind of a red accent but there is red all over the place. Both main bedrooms are quite neutral. One's bluish, the other one's greenish. <laughs> uh, the kids room is quite bright but you know it's for kids. 
using the vampire's game pack. Urn in the coffin room? Surely has to be a better name for a room that has a coffin in it. A coffin room. Coffin bedroom. I don't know. I have to think about that one. Coffin sanctum. <laughs> Just last minute addition of uh, a fence. I thought, well, since I've got lots of budget, I might as well just stick a fence down, right? And, you know, give it a bit more of a classy look. But otherwise, we're pretty much at the end of the build. The screenshots are coming up very soon now. Had a lot of fun with the playtesting. I hope you're going to enjoy it as well. Right, so here's the lounge. The bar and the pipe organ, the door up to the stairs, the little octagon corner, the bar again, the pipe organ, <laughs> the door through to the dining room, the fireplace, and the dining room on its own. And here's the little kitchen, with a coffee machine of course, very important. And there's the bathroom, trying to get all the objects in one screenshot was very difficult. There's the little hall, with all the portraits around it, I really like that actually. There's the kids room, with toddler bed, and kids bed, and some toys to play with, and a bit of decoration, and Bacula! And there's the second bedroom. And the main bedroom. And finally the coffin room. <laughs> Probably the only place I'm going to use that dirty decoration stuff. Here it is from the outside. I hope you like this build and I hope you've enjoyed the speed build. Please leave a comment. I love getting comments. And please consider subscribing along to the channel. I do videos pretty regularly. Anyway, take care and see you in the next video. Bye bye.